This is not the first time I've used this Google site, uh, but I find it intriguing how the algorithm and programming underneath this particular site allows you to write with some of the masters of fiction. And so I decided I would try uh, once again this morning, just as part of our digital writing month, just to see what it's like to write with some of the masters that have been programmed into this software by Google. And you can see from my writing that it gets a little frustrating, actually. Because as you're starting to write words in language that I understand, here we have Shakespeare and Poe and Dickens jumping in and changing what I'm writing. And so it gets a little frustrating sometimes. It's also very intriguing. Check out what he's doing to my words right now. I would never write like that. <laughs> that Dickens. So I decided I would try to write a poem here and kind of catch in with some of my ideas around this idea of writing by myself or not with myself as some of these writers started jumping in and changing my words in ways that I would never write and I would never speak. So part of the intriguing part, I think, of this kind of site is the idea that we're so used to writing alone that when you have another voice popping in, um, and this happens in regular Google Docs too, if you ever try to do a collaboration with other people, that you'll be writing and suddenly you'll see words being typed by somebody else, either typing over what you've written, or changing what you've written, or perhaps off to the side of what you've written. And suddenly the document that you're making is something completely new in a kind of interesting way. Um, and, you know, who can pass up the chance to try to write collaboratively with William Shakespeare? Although I don't know what he would have thought of my writing. Um, but here um, I'm watching myself and Shakespeare kind of have this back and forth. What you're going to see here is that Poe is going to remind me that I ran out of space and he's going to kind of cap up my poem with the end. And then if I go up to the top, you'll see that he's starting to go back and, and add his own thoughts into my poem itself and my writing. Kind of intriguing. You give it a try if you get a chance.